The brown marmorated stink bug, also called the shill bug, is an invasive species that arrived in the United States in the mid-1990s. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, stink bugs probably hitched a ride in a shipping container from Asia to Pennsylvania. They have been identified in 47 states and the District of Columbia. Today on Grandma Bessie's House, we will discuss how to identify stink bugs and damage to crops caused by stink bugs and how to control them if spotted in your home garden. If you spend any time gardening or tending to fruits and vegetable crops, you probably notice these agricultural pests. As you will see later in this video, stink bugs love to feed on and cause damage to a large number of crops and ornamental plants. Their number one goal is to take control of and suck the nutrients out of any crop they get their bodies on. If you are enjoying this video and find it informative, give it a thumbs up and share it. If you are interested in learning how to control other garden pests or just want to find a recipe to cook for dinner, subscribe to our channel. Hit the notifications bell to stay up to date on new content. Stink bugs are brown and have an exoskeleton that looks like a shield, hence the nickname shield bug. They remind me of what a medieval knight would look like if he was a bug. They have white bands on their antenna and legs and alternating light and dark bands on their abdomen. Stink bugs lay their eggs on the underside of leaves. Once hatched, the nymphs feed on those leaves, later joining the mature stink bugs feeding on fruits and vegetables, causing necrotic brown spots, pitting and scarring. Luckily for humans and our pets, brown marmorated stink bugs do not bite. Unfortunately, they are hard to eliminate from the garden Pesticides have little effect on them because of their still like shielded exoskeleton and they have no predators. To keep predators away, they spray an extremely foul odor from holes all over their body. This odor is emitted when frightened or crushed. If this isn't bad enough, stink bugs do not just disappear once the weather turns cold. Instead, they take shelter where they find warmth, mainly in and around your home. They will spend winter in any tiny crack or hole on a structure they can fit into. As soon as the weather warms, they will move out of hiding in search of your garden. If you find this video informative and beneficial, give it a thumbs up and share it. If you are interested in watching more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. Take the following steps to control stink bug populations. Check leaves for eggs. If you see them, remove or cut the leaves and discard them. Clean up and discard lawn debris. Keep your lawn mowed and remove all weeds in and around your garden or around any nearby structure. Spray plants with a 50% water, 50% liquid detergent solution. When coated with soap, the exoskeleton becomes impaired, causing stink bugs to drown in the spray. Place row covers over your crops. Inspect your house. Fix any damage left over from previous storms. Make sure all cracks around your doors, windows, siding, and pipes are well sealed before winter. If all else fails, call an exterminator. If you know of any other methods of controlling stink bugs that were not mentioned in this video, let me know in the comments section. Thank you for watching another episode of Grandma Bessie's House.